Okay, here's the next category. These are kind of the same, has the same function. You could use it interchangeably. Um, these are actually the same set from Merylice. What is it called? Merylice? Merylice? Um, there are like five of them. There's another one in my, um, I recently, so these are actually new. I have never used them. Um, I only tried one out, which is this one here. This one here, and I used it for my under eye, and it's been really good. So I was thinking about um, maybe like keeping these, um, but like I said, because it's new, I like to give it away to my sister. Um, you know, they're like the same set, so I thought it would be nice to like keep two because they come in five, keep two, and then give uh, my sister like three um, so that she can have like new brushes. So I'm thinking of because these are kind of like the same, this one and this one. Um, it's kind of like the same, like, slanted shape. Um, so I'm going to keep one, and then I'm going to give my sister these three. Since I have something similar to, like, each of them. So, like, for this one right here, I have this one. Although it's not good, this is a Makeup Geek uh, Angle Stippling Brush. Even though it's not good for, like, liquid foundation, I'm going to try to see if I could use the powder, like, the pressed powder, and see if that works nicely. Um, I, I don't know about... Um, like stippling on maybe maybe the application the way I apply it it's it's not right because I smudge it and I kind of just go like this like buff it out but I think it's supposed to be like stippling like I'm supposed to stamp so I'm gonna try it again and see if I could like stamp it but the bristles are kind of like the same um, height so I figured that it's probably gonna do the same thing I feel like this one is a little bit denser than this one so like I said, because I'm already using this one, I'm going to try to give it one more chance and see if I could use it. But then because I haven't tried this, I'm going to go ahead and give it away to my sister. So these three is going to be declutter. And I'm going to give this another try. And in the next category, I know I used the Morphe E6 before. And so I know I, I, I love that. I love putting on like translucent powder with this or even like a little bit more powder just to have extra coverage if my liquid, uh, liquid foundation or BB cream is a little bit too light. So I like to use this to kind of like pack it on, like, you know, so I know I love this. I usually travel with this because I love this brush. Now, here is my new one to my collection. This is from Makeup Geek. I bought from last year. I have not used it yet, so I'm going to try to give these two a chance and see if, you know, if, if, uh, if they're okay. And then, yeah, to see whether I'm going to hold on to it or not. But I'm excited to give them a try because I already know I love this one. So I'm going to go back, go ahead and put this back in my, um, my collection. And so after that, I have this one, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and keep it just because um, it's similar to like, because my sister, the one that my sister is getting, it's also like the same shape. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one so that my other one is not like sad. <laughs> so it has like, you know, a, a friend in the family or siblings to be together. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So this two right here are very similar to this, you know, and I've tried it for multiple ways. I've tried using this as a um like a concealer brush where i you know under my eyes and i just you know clean it up and honestly i'm gonna tell you now i didn't like that because for some reason i can see like the the brush strokes uh under my eye and i didn't like that so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to see if i could use this as a bronzer kind of like to diffuse my cream bronzer and i don't have a lot of like the ones to diffuse my like a cream bronzer i do have cream bronzers but i don't have any tools to kind of like blend it out you can also use your sponge to blend it out by the way but um i don't have any other tool like actual brushes that can blend it away so i think this would be great for that um this one is a little bit bigger than this one um so i'm gonna just keep both of them um i like to keep it in the family so so I have the big one from from uh, Japanique. So I this is the baby one, um, and then I have like a whole family of the Eco Tools. So I like to keep it in the family. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these two. And then here I have one last one from um, from Makeup Geek. It's the Face Buffer Brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. And um, I again, I have not used this yet, but it reminds me a lot of this one right here. It's like the same shape, and I like small ones like this so that I could like just throw it in my uh, my purse and then put like a powder so that I could just use it and then kind of like do touch up so that's kind of like what I've been doing with this one but um, with this one I don't know what I you know what I need for this one so let me think about it because it's brand new I just bought it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this so let me think about it and I will decide whether I'm gonna declutter or not um, but I'm definitely keeping this one I might just go ahead and keep it because I only have one and two of the same shape so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it so you know what I have um, a few in that 
category. So I'm giving three to my sister. I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, it's okay. I suck at brushes anyway, so I'm, I know I'm not going to do well in this category. <laughs> okay, here's the next set. <sighs> Just like the last one, the last uh, category um, of, you know, the flat top um, that were a lot denser and a lot shorter. These are like more, these are bigger um, one and done kind of thing. So like, let's say on a on a busy day, if I just need to pat on some uh, foundation, this would give me a less coverage, like a medium coverage rather than like full coverage. So I like I like these for those reasons. Um, so I've oh my god, I have Elf uh, powder brush for a long time. This one I I had it for a while, and this one is Coastal Scent. Um, I also bought it a while ago in two thousand eight. Teen, I would say and I don't think I use this one so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one because I mean it's as great as the elf one I mean if you look at the shape it's kind of like the same thing the bristles are very similar as well so I'm gonna go ahead and because I already used this one I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one um, and give it away to friends and family um, this one is also a really great brush because it's really dense and it's good probably for um, hmm, I don't know. I could use it for, like, foundation. I could use it for, I mean, it's multi-purpose. You can do it for cream. Um, I don't have, like, a slanted kind of similar to this where it's, like, really packed. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And this one, I've used it so much that it, like, died. <laughs> it broke. Um, I could probably put super glue on it and then, like, see if anyone that I know want it. Um, it's really great, so I definitely will pass it on. But I think I have something similar in the Elf, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Okay, so in that category, I'm getting rid of two, and I'm keeping two. Here is my under eyes um, brush, brushes. So this one I really like. Um, this is my all-time favorite brush. This is from, it's a small taper brush from elf and in the elf category i think this is like the best brush it's one of the best brushes that i own i actually have a backup to this one because that's how much i love it so i use this to put powder underneath my eyes and it's just flawless like i freaking love this um this one is a little bit more dense this is the morphe c2 oh my god the like the letter kind of came off but this one i like to pack it on it's 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 a lot like thicker in terms of like there's more bristles than this one this one is really loose so i like to pack this under my um, under eye if i need more coverage i also use this one over here for the same reason so i usually like to keep two in my uh, collection because just in case i you know i have two here i have one in my vanity and then i have one in my travel bag and vice versa right now i'm not traveling so um one one set it's dirty i just you know take out the other set and kind of cycle them and then wash the other the, the the dirty set and then let it dry and then and then just use the other one so that i can keep them for a little bit longer so i like to keep two of the same type um so i'm keeping all three of these and then here i'm also going to keep all these two because this one has been with me for like years and years and years and um i use this to kind of like contour um and I can use it for my blush. I can use it for multiple ways. Um, so I don't have anything like this size. This size. I think I have something similar in 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 a way. But this one is a lot more bristles than this one. And this one is more. It's like really really packed. It's from Makeup Geek. Um, and I use this more for like my nose contour. And then I use this for like contour on you know for the cheeks. So I'm keeping this for sure. And then I have this one. It's part of the uh, Kala. Um, it, like, um, there's a called collection. There's five of them, um, and it's relatively new to my collection, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep her. And I love the way the packaging looks. Um, it's all like gold, and it's really really nice. And so, anyway, so I use this for like um, blushes. Actually, I use all of these for blushes. So, and then this one right here is from Bare Mineral. Um, it's 
angle base brush so again I could use this to diffuse my bronzer or I could use to um, blend it or I could also use it for blush um, so I since I have one from Bare Mineral I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one just so that it has a it has a sibling this one oh my gosh this brush at one point I thought about go ahead and decluttering this but this I, this stayed with me for so long this must be one of my oldest 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 uh, brush in my category and I love it. It's from Revlon. I don't know if they even sell this anymore But I use this like all the time. It's for some reason the The size of this is like perfect for my blush I use it as a blush brush all the time and I just freaking love it. It's like really really old But it's I maintain it really well. I hope and so like I say, I, it's been with me for like years. So I'm going to try to use it more this year. And then after this year, I'm going to go ahead and, and let him go. Let her go. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in my category because I really, really love this. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, nine. And then I'm going to go ahead and declutter two right here. Okay, so I have a bunch of miscellaneous uh, weird shape type of brushes uh, here over here in this category. And then I also have my concealer brushes, so I'm going to go through that with you guys uh, next. Um, so let me just go ahead and pick out the ones that I know I'm going to keep for sure is this one. This is, this is new in my collection, but it's not really new because I have like something, I have another one like this for like the longest time. Um, just like that taper brush from elf like this is my second favorite brush from elf and um my sister loved it as well so the last time she came and visit a couple years ago like she took it and so i know that this was part of her collection for a very very long time before she started to add more brushes in her collection but this was a replacement because she took mine so i know i'm gonna keep this because i love 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 this brush i also love this brush from makeup geek i don't have anything similar to this shape this size and like you know like the way it's slanted and everything i love to use this kind of like to blend my um nose contour and then also it's, it's a perfect size for like the contour um um for your face as well so and I imagine that it's also really good to use for cream contour, um, just the way how it's designed. So these I'm going to go ahead and keep. And then this one from MAC, I don't have anything like this. And I can use this for multiple ways. I can use it to blend out my contour. I can use it to um, to blend out my foundation. Um, this gave me like a more of an airbrush type uh, of feel. So I don't have anything like these two. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all three of these. Another one, well, I know I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This is not used, but like I said, I have a lot of like face powder brushes to, bl to blend out. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to give it away, but it's brand new. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that away. This one as well, I have like this giant fan brush and I have no idea what I use, how to use this. I, I just never use it. So I'm going to give it away to someone else who knows how to use it. And the brand is... Mage? I don't, I don't know how to say that, but that's the brand, and it's like really, really pretty. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but um, yeah, I just have no idea how to use this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that away. And then this one I actually use, and I really do like it for um, concealer. You could use it for concealer. I like to use it for under my eyes, and I also love to use it for like contour to blend out like the um, the creams. So this is really cool for that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I enjoy it very much. Um, this one, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. This is from MAC. It's number 187. Um, it's also like the stippling type. Ooh, okay. Well, do I want to keep it or do I want to declutter it? This is like really old in my collection and like the glue is like beginning to fall off. So, um, hmm. I don't have any stippling. I'm going to go ahead and keep her. I'm going to go ahead and keep her. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep her. I don't have a lot of sibling brushes. These are the only two that I own. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Okay. And then this one is from... Oh my gosh, what does that say? BH Cosmetics. I don't own anything from BH Cosmetics. Um, but I like to use this. It's a little bit too big. I wish it was a little bit smaller or a little bit thinner. Um, it's a little bit too big in my opinion. It looks like that. Um, you can technically shape it in a way. Like if you use... So this is what I've been using. I didn't have any contour, like nose contour brushes before the Makeup Geek one came home. So what I've been doing is I just put like a, um, a hair clip, like a bobby pin, and then I put it like that. And then I use this, you see how sharp that is? So I use that to bronze my face and I use that to bronze my nose. 
So that's what I've been using for this brush. So since I don't have anything from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead and keep her because it's multi-purpose to use, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and keep her. So then when I declutter two, and I'm keeping two, four, six in that, cate that random category. And then here are the concealers. Um, this is new to my collection from Sephora. The number is 52. It's a stippling concealer brush, the Pro. And like I said, I don't have anything like this. I think it was $8 when I bought it. It was on sale last year. Um, during the Sephora sales, VB, VIB, VIB sales. So I'm going to go ahead and keep her. I love Sephora brushes, but I don't own many because it's so expensive. Here's another one that I have, and I love using this, like, for my concealer for my eyes. Like, if I put it, like, after I comb out my brows and then I put concealer underneath it and above it and this makes it like so quick you guys so this one um I use it for that reason I also use it I could use it for like under my eye to blend that out as well too and as well as this you know this is a really good morphe brush and it's so like even though it looks like it's dense but it's actually not dense it's great for, to apply like a mac pot um and then I just smudge it all over to like prep the face um it's also really good for concealer um to add concealer underneath the eye and then buff it out so this is my must must have like this is one of my favorite uh brush from morphe it's the m173 like i can't live with it without this one and i also find the same joy in this one from japanique um so anyway so i'm keeping these two um this one is from elf this one right here is from elf um i haven't really used it because i don't know what to use it for but i think it kind of does the same thing as this one over here the only difference is that it's a lot thicker so what i've been using is i've been using like the the um the concealer that are like loose powder from bare mineral that i have so i've been using this to kind of like blend it out because i don't want it to be so concentrated but i don't want it to be like so diffuse either so i want it to be just the right amount and kind of like just buff it out so this is what it's for um this right here it's more like packing i use this to apply my um my moisturizer or concealer, it is the Light Stroke from Bare Mineral. This is Max Coverage Concealer. This is also really good if you um, if you have like spot treatment, you just put concealer and you dab it on instead of like smudging it out, like like press it on so it can provide you a little bit more um, coverage. But because these are so similar, uh, I don't know what I should do. Hmm, Light Stroke. What's the difference between Light Stroke and Max Coverage Concealer? I, they're two different brushes, obviously, but they kind of look the same. The only difference is that this one is like really, really thin, and it's more like I can tell that it's more for concealer. But then this one is not. This is more like, like Fuller Packer. Um, hmm. I imagine this will be really good to like contour your nose too. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> I'm not ready to let it go. You bring me joy. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them both. And I'm going to put them in my everyday use and just start using it. But yeah, I didn't really do so well in this category either. I have um, I have 12 that I'm keeping and I have two that I'm decluttering. Yeah, not... Oh, I suck at this. Well, let's move on to the next category, shall we?